Hello folks, my name is Mick, and I'm here today to make a short video of the Trident Marina. Okay, going up between the trees here, and uh, we get up to about 100 feet, maybe 150 feet or so, and take a look around. Here's the marina, quite an impressive building, long, I don't know just how long, but very long. That's the dry dock in the back. And all those trailers out there, I'm sure, are from the dry docked boats. And there's a showroom on the right. Right at the bottom of the picture is the restaurant, the grill, with the old glory flying out there. What a beautiful sight. This is a fantastic facility and a great, great place. Okay, turning around to the right here in a few seconds... Turning around to the right is what used to be known as Wagnon's Camp and a little later as Glenn's Fish Camp. The only thing that's recognizable there is the boat launch on the left. Everything else was leveled and uh, they built a fabulous motel here. Got some nice looking docks out there and fine facilities over there also. Now here we have a pontoon boat coming out on the bottom here. I don't know where they're going. We'll see. They're going to go out into the lake, or they well, we'll know. We don't know. All right, back to the marina at a very much higher altitude. No, that's a little later, perhaps. Coming back down for a closer look. There's the big big building, and that's Highway 222, Coleman County 222 over there that goes out across. Big Bridge. And here's Big Bridge. Always wondering why they call this Big Bridge. It's not really very big compared to a lot of bridges, or most bridges, you might say. But I guess I had to name it something. So uh, Big Bridge sounded better than Little Bridge, I suppose. Okay, looking across the area on the other side of the bridge there, more beautiful, beautiful area of this lake. Smith Lake is perhaps the cleanest and the clearest lake in Alabama. If it ain't, it's it's one of the clearest. I remember way back there in my water skiing days, you could put your foot all the way down and still count your toes. It was that clear, astonishing. Beautiful, beautiful countryside. A lot of houses have been built around that I did not know about. Of course, you see a lot more things when you're up high. A lot more. A couple of boats going around there into this creek and uh, beautiful sight. We're about 200 feet now in altitude. The copper will actually fly about 500 feet before it gets completely so small you can't see it. Okay, back to the marina now. We're going to land in a minute. And there's the restaurant again on the right in the, near the bottom. We have a gentleman sitting out on the porch enjoying the sunshine. It's not a terribly hot day, so it feels good. Okay, we're going to land on the grass here in a minute. By the way, this is a place to be if you're hungry. The food is fabulous. Going down, hopefully through the trees and miss the trees. Helicopters and trees. No, ooh, there is a power line I didn't see before. Okay, we're going to land in the grass here. I hope. Very gently. Got a whoa, whoa, little bit of a bounce there, but not too bad. Okay, as soon as that thing shuts off, I'm going to uh, pick it up and walk over to the truck and put it back in. Okay, going around to the truck. That's not my truck. Where is my truck? There's old blue. Okay. Folks, I've enjoyed taking this video, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. It's uh, aerial photography is quite interesting. Okay. Everyone, have a great day. Bye.